In Act 1, Section 1 of A Doll's House, cheery housewife Nora Halmer comes home from Christmas shopping and persuades her husband, Torvald, to give her more money for holiday spending. Nora shows Torvald the Christmas presents she bought for the children and staff at their home. They reminisce and discuss their finances. Torvald admonishes Nora for wasting money, pointing out even her slightest indiscretions by noticing tiny crumbs on her mouth. Nora has eaten macaroons, even though he has warned her she will ruin her looks if she eats sweets. The stage directions and props establish the Helmer household as comfortable and tasteful, but not extravagant at this time of year. Each word and action of the characters are significant from the time they are introduced. Nora sings and whistles as she walks through the door, and when Torvald calls her his Skylark, it introduces the symbol of the bird that carries through the play. Nora's glib attitude masks the financial pressure she's under, but the audience doesn't know it yet. Both main characters' views on financial responsibility are established at the beginning of Act 1. For Torvald, there can be no freedom or beauty about a home life that depends on borrowing or debt. Torvald's view on financial responsibility conforms to the norms and contexts of the time. Nora says she would not care if Torvald died and they owed money. Her view exposes her willingness to lie. These two opposing values reflect the central conflict of the play. The significant number of lines in this section that are focused on Nora eating macaroons and hiding it from her husband points to the significance of this small deception, indicating another central idea, Torvald's love for her looks and his belief that he owns and deserves them. This is evident throughout the play, proof of his view of her as his property, his beautiful doll. <laughs>